So how do we gather people in worship? How do we participate with what the Holy Spirit's doing to, to bring together the people of God and to get them to battle stations, in essence, to get them to their places of work? Um, one of our worship professors, uh, Lester Ruth, and I have fun back and forth about, you know, Lester, and I, he's taught me this, says it's so important to, t to get the name of Jesus out there quickly. Just say his name. That's the name above every name, the one name in which we are all gathering. And so I one time said to him, you know, it's sort of like, uh, it's like voting in Arkansas. Early and often. That's how we want to handle the name of Jesus. Um, sometimes when I'm up leading worship, I'll just say, Jesus is Lord. I mean, people, that can fly over people like a cliche, but, but let me tell you what, those words cause the powers to flee. That is a, when you're in worship, it is a public gathering. It's not this privatized sanctuary sort of club. No, you are in public and you are making declarations and proclamations that literally are addressing the powers and the principalities. Um, when you say Jesus is Lord, you're saying something that is inherently cosmic, political, liturgical, doxological, philosophical. Let's see, what else can we say? <laughs> you're saying the only thing that matters. Jesus is Lord. Figure out how to say it in a way that people aren't just sort of used to hearing it. Um, get the name of Jesus out there quickly.